There may be a few times when updates for Windows do not install. That's a bit of an exaggeration. There may be a bit more than a few times. Anyway, when it happens that your updates do not load or they're hanging, you might need to clear the update history. So how do you do that the correct way? Well, let's have a look. Click on Start and go into your settings. And what I'm referring to is if you click on Windows Updates on the left-hand side here, once it loads up on the right, you have this box that says Update History. When you click on that, you'll see all the updates that have been installed on your computer, quality updates, so on and so forth. This is the history that you want to clear when updates are not working properly. And to do that the right way, you have to stop the two services that are involved with Windows Update, those being the Windows Orchestrator service and the Windows Update service. So how do we stop those? Right-click on your Start menu or bring up the Windows Terminal. A couple of commands we want to type. We can type net stop USO SVC, which is the actual update orchestrator service, or we can type the full command as I have it up here. So we'll stop that service first. Once that's stopped, let's stop the Windows update service, which is W-U-A-U-S-E-R-V, or you can type it out net stop Windows update. But just remember, when you have a space in the name of the service, make sure you enclose it within quotation marks. So we'll stop those two services. Now, each one of those has a location on your hard drive that contains log files. And it's those log files that we want to clear. Now, in older versions of Windows, when you went in to delete your log files, you would actually go into Windows. You would find the folder that says Software Distribution, and quite often you would delete the entire folder. You can. Windows will, will rebuild it, but I strongly recommend not doing it that way anymore because there are some other little issues involved with doing that. So what you actually want to do is you want to come into the software distribution, go into Data Store, into the Logs folder, and here you have a file that says edb.log. Highlight that and just delete it. Now, once that's deleted, let's have a look back at your Windows Update serve or your Windows Update. Go into Windows Update. Update history, and you'll notice the updates are still here. Unlike Windows 10 or Windows 8, most of those would be gone. I believe in later versions of Windows 10 from probably 1903 onwards, um, this would still be the case. You actually then have to delete the log file that's associated with the update orchestrator service. Now, where is that file? You can certainly turn on hidden files and folders on your computer, or you can actually just browse to the location. And they're in a folder called program data that's on the root of your C drive. So if you open up that particular folder, and what you're looking for is a file that says USO private. Double click on it, update store, and everything that's in this folder, this is what you actually want to delete. In this case, it's just store.db. We'll delete that file. Yep, that's now gone. So let's reload our Windows update. Start, Windows update. Now you can see automatically it starts checking for updates because it has no record of what was updated before. An update history, the only ones you might still see here are ones that were manually installed. And I was playing around because my computer, the hardware is not actually supported. So I've manually installed one just to test it, which went through just fine. So once we have that reset, now your update should carry on as per normal. But you do still need to restart those services. So because we stopped them, you want to actually start the Windows Update service, and you also want to start the Win. Whoop, sorry, not stop the Windows Orchestrator service or the Update Orchestrator service, but to actually start it. Now, here's a quick thing for you as well. You'll notice that I'm using my up and down arrows. I'm scrolling through my command prompt here, and I have all the commands in here. This is a wonderful feature with the new PowerShell commands that are within Windows 11. They were in Windows 10, but not as well known. And in the next video I deal with, I'm going to show you how to do what I'm doing right now. So I can recycle through the services without having to type them manually and possibly make spelling mistakes and have to repeat everything over and over and look like a complete newbie on a computer. Anyway, once those services have been restarted, your Windows update won't should now function properly. I say should, I was going to say will, but we all know Microsoft, it's not exactly um, known for being perfect, which to me is great because as long as Microsoft makes buggy software, I'm employable. So this is great news for me, but definitely not for the average person because there's a lot of issues with Windows and Windows Update. So as you can see, everything now is kicking off normally. 
Uh, there's no issues with Windows Update not running. Hopefully this helps you. By all means, do give us a thumbs up at the bottom. And until the next video, which, like I say, will deal with that wonderful new command prompt slash PowerShell, I'll deal with how to customize it and go into it in more depth. Anyway, folks, thanks for stopping by. Take care. Have yourselves a fantastic day. Until next time, ciao for now.